Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is about my experiences living in haunted houses. So if you're into this kind of stuff, please give the video a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Thanks. So as far as I know, I've lived in three haunted houses and well, the, fir the first two that I've lived in have had stories. The last one, I don't know any story about it. But, so yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. So the first one that I lived in was on the Cook's Corners Road. Um, I know that's kind of weird, but yeah. And the story that I heard about it was that there was a family living there. They had a daughter. And one day she was out playing by the road and she got hit by a car. She managed to drag herself to the garage or the barn before she died. The father found her and then he was so like upset that he shot his wife and then he hung himself in the barn or the garage where the daughter died. I don't know if that's true. I mean, there's a bunch of different versions of the story, but that's the one that I heard, and that's the one that seems most likely, I think. Um, yeah. There's other ones, but that's the one that I believe. Um, there has been... A lot of people that go out to that house because they, they know that it's haunted. And they've seen ghosts, heard voices, um, had things thrown at them. While I lived there, nothing happened to me, I don't think. I was really young. I don't think anything happened to my parents or my siblings either. But yeah, okay. The second house that I lived in that was haunted used to like be an old horse barn or something like that um not a horse barn like somewhere to put horses while you go to the bar something like that um and apparently a woman died there and i was hearing things i was older at this point when i lived in that house i was hearing things uh I was scared to death to sleep in my own room, and, you know, I really didn't even know why. And at first, okay, this might sound, like, really funny and really crazy, but, you know the little monkey with the red eyes that hides in the closet on Family Guy? Or, yeah, I think it's Family Guy. I swore that I seen that in my room. I'm not even joking, like, because the ceilings are one of those ones that you can push up. I swore to myself that I seen that. I mean, at the time, I really loved Family Guy, so I could have just been watching too much Family Guy. But, we, we lived in this house for like two years. Um, you know, I just had a really creepy cold feel all the time. Like, it was always cold, no matter how many heaters we had on, no matter, no matter how much heat was going through it. Like, it always felt cold. It was always creepy, and we would hear somebody walking in the hallway at night upstairs. Like, well, upstairs. Yeah, I'm just going to say upstairs because the first night we stayed there, we weren't all moved in, and it was cold, so we slept downstairs. But we heard somebody walking the hallway upstairs, and then we heard a woman screaming and stuff. It was so creepy, but my parents, you know, I was still young, but I was older. They were just like, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing, but they heard it too, and everyone was creeped out, including me. I wouldn't sleep in my room, so I slept on my parents' bedroom floor with them. It was, like, just creepy. One day, my parents and I left. We went to town because we lived out of town at this point. We went to town to get some food and stuff. My brother and his girlfriend were in the house alone. 
they were hearing noises and stuff so bad that it scared them so bad. They went out and they, they sat in my dad's truck until we got home. And we were just like, why are you out here? And then they were just like, we were hearing noises and stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, it was like really creepy. So eventually after we moved out of there, you know, I don't know if anyone lives in there now, but we moved out and yeah. And then the third one that I lived in, I, this is the one that I don't know if it's haunted because I haven't heard stories about it, but like we would, I don't know why I was doing this, but one day I was sitting on the kitchen table, I know, sitting on the table, right? Most parents would kill you for that. But I was sitting up there, I was really young. This goes back before the last story that I just told and before, yeah, no, this story goes in between the other two stories that I just told. I don't know why I'm telling it last, probably because I don't know if this one's haunted or not. But I was sitting on the table. I was, like, maybe five years old. Um, I had a pool stick, and I was, like, banging on the ceiling. I don't know why. I just was banging on the ceiling with it. And then I heard a banging back. Yeah, I know, right? I was scared. And a lot of crazy things happened in this house. Like, our animals were acting super weird. I don't know. Maybe they were just, like, being weird. I have no clue. Like, I haven't heard any stories in this house, whether it's haunted or not. I don't think it is, but I was little at the time, so it was really creepy. But the first two stories, I've heard and I've believed because we heard noises and stuff in the house and, like, the stories that we've heard match up with the noises that we've heard. So I believe that the first two are are actually haunted places. But I'm too scared to go there again to see if it's still happening. The third one I don't think was a haunted place. But I just wanted to tell you guys because it's almost Halloween. So I think I'm going to do scary videos up until after Halloween. So, if you like that idea, then comment, like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Oh, yeah. I also got my ears pierced, guys. I know, right? <laughs> so, if you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And also share around so everybody else can see it. Um, so, yeah. That's it for now, guys. I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.